I'm trying to make myself get back into the Christmas spirit after um, the tragedies of the last few days. Um, so one of the ways that I am doing this is to wrap my presents in a festive way and to make some Christmas decorations. So first, um, wrapping Christmas presents. If you want a really crafty and inexpensive way to wrap Christmas presents, I suggest you get some craft paper from your local office supply store. Um, this is the roll that I used last year, and I still have enough left over for this Christmas. Um, last year, I took some scrap yarn to make bows. This year, I am using Baker's Twine, and I'm using crayons and colored pencils to wrap my presents. So um, this is a present for my mom, and it is wrapped in beautiful craft paper with some Baker's Twine, and labeled with a crayon. Also, I am making garland um, with some spare yarn and roving. So if you want to do this, get some spare yarn. I have some red and some green. Get a piece of foam, needle felting needle, take some roving, hold the roving apart. I wrapped it around my finger and twisted it into like a little ball. Then you just kind of stab it. This is a really good craft of like you're tired and you don't want to knit where you have to think and count and have coordination. Um, but you want to do something creative, you can just stab some roving with a needle and then it'll be crafty. So you, you don't want to stab it too much because um, then it'll just get really, really dense. So here's a ball and uh, yeah, and then you can just take a darning needle and uh, take some yarn, put the darning needle on the yarn, stick it through this, and then you'll have garland. So you may be wondering why I'm now wearing a cape and have all the presents wrapped behind me and it's darker out. Um, it's called a jump cut and a time lapse. No, it's not. It's not really either of those things. Anyway, um, so yeah, I decided to stop filming um, so that I could wrap the presents because it looks prettier, and um, so that I could show you all the cool things that I got at the sample sale that I went to. I'm going to drink some wine while we talk. Um, so I've lived in New York for a few years now, and if New Yorkers know how to do anything, it's shop. Um, and they have these things called sample sales, which I hadn't been to before. Um, and so I finally went to my first one this week, and it was amazing. And by amazing, I mean very dangerous. Um, not like violence and like, you know, life dangerous, but dangerous because like I spent $200 before 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, so my office is in a, I'm going to take this off because it's silly. Um, but it's really cool and I got it for like 80% off. Um, so... The building that I work in has a lot of other businesses in it and they often have sample sales or they host the sample sales in the building. So we get to go in before anyone else. We don't have to wait in the long line outside. And then we also get 25% off on top of the sample sale prices. So the sample sale had a lot of silk scarves and hats and gloves and knitted cowls and some furry vest things um but anyway so a couple people are getting gloves they also had lots of like different kinds of silk scarves long classic 80s i got this one i don't know how to wear them this is the other one the lime green trim brown and white thing and a black background i figure i can wear it with black or brown, or if I'm wearing a color, I can wear it because it's kind of neutral. Big enough that I could like wear it just as a wrap, or the scarf knot twisty things, or maybe get like a pin, but it's silk, I don't know. If you have any suggestions for how to wear big silk scarves, like these ones that I got, um, then please put them in the comments. For those of you who don't live in New York City, um, or don't live around New York City, today is SantaCon. 
where uh, thousands, a couple, 10,000, I don't know, lots of people dress up like Santa Claus and descend upon Manhattan um, and bar hop. It's supposed to be a can drive, I think, but basically people just dress up like Santa and get drunk. I'm home doing Christmassy things. Uh, right now, I'm actually in the middle of a movie that stars Amy Acker. It's, I don't know what it's called. It's on Netflix. But it stars Amy Acker, and if you don't know who Amy Acker is, you need to go watch some Angel Dollhouse. She's in an episode of Supernatural. She's in an episode of Grimm. She's just super cute and really nice, and I really like her. So even though this Christmas movie is kind of making me stressed out, because it's about this, like, shallow girl who's trying to marry this guy because she got a letter from his daughter that she wrote to Santa something. I don't know. It's really stressful. It's gonna be one of those movies where, like, they fall in love, but then he finds out the truth, and then, like, it's a fight, and then they get back together, and... It's gonna be stressful, but I'm watching that instead of being surrounded by drunk Santas. So, success.